Hey guys, welcome back. In, in our today's video, we're going to look at OAuth 2 flows. And there are uh, many type of authorization flows available. So the first one is the authorization code flow uh, that we're going to look into today. Let's move into the video. So this is the widely used uh, secured you know, authentication flow in uh, OAuth 2. You know, it's mostly adapted uh, with uh, Pixie flow for web application. Even without Pixie, it can be used. Let's uh, understand how the uh, authorization code flow works, right? So uh, let's say you are navigating to a, um, a web page and you don't have to provide your credentials, but you are uh, looking for uh, login with uh, Google or Azure or any other authorization providers, right? So you will be clicking on that uh, particular link, let's say Google. Once you click on that, it, it navigates to the authorization server and uh, further the other is the once you click on the um, OAuth to login uh, and then the client application will redirect you to the authorization server and the authorization server will request you for to enter um, you know uh, just authorize you with their uh, own strategy if you look at uh, google you will be logging into your google account and then it will give you the consent whether you want to allow the you know the so and so client want to access uh, so and so information right that's a concern so you will be uh, you know allowing the client to, uh, you know um, uh, authorization server let, letting know the authorization server that uh, yeah um, go ahead and you know provide the access you know to access those information uh, from my profile right and then you will submit it so once that is submitted the authorization server will then generate a code called authorization code which will be sent to uh, the client application right and then the client application will make use of the authorization code and it will also use a client credential which already which, you know he you have already registered with the authorization server that i'm i'm a client i will be you know uh, uh, you know requesting you access token along with the authorization code from the uh, user right and then uh, once the uh, authorization server receives that it will give the access token back and from then uh, the client application can access the resource from the resource server using the access token right and this is what the um, overall flow this is how it is look it will look like so an, an unauthenticated user will try to access the application and then they will be redirected to the authorization server and it will provide a login page and they will submit the credentials and then you will get the consent page and then you will be agreeing the consent once that is done and then the authorization server will direct redirect to the client application where you will get where the authorization server will append the um, auth code back to the client application and client application will make use of it and then append the you know add their client credentials and send it back to the authorization server to get the access token once the access token is received and then from that point uh, you know uh, the client application is you know authorized to get the um, you know the protector resources from the resource server so that's how it goes and then the resource server in turns validates the token which is being sent by the client application with the authorization server once the, once everything is good and it returns the response back to the client application and you resource owner will be you know checking the response right let's go into the code um, i've already coded this um, uh, i've created a authorization server and a resource server so the resource server is pointing the if you look at here the issuer uri is the is pointing to the authorization server to validate the access token and its validity and everything right so if at all there is a signature and allocated so it will validate with respect to the uh, java token right so this is what the issuer url is and then uh, the authorization server i have registered my client and my client credentials are already in my uh, mongodb where i have registered uh, my client so the, the application is using mongodb as um, um, you know to store their uh, registered client details so here if you look at i've uh, given the test client oidc as the client detail and further uh, i've also given the redirect URI where it has to redirect my application right and then um, yeah here's the client id and the secret is uh, encoded with um, i think uh, bcrypt uh, encoder and yep uh, that's pretty much everything and we also given a scope uh, to give uh, open id uh, just that will give you an identity uh, token as well and uh, we'll also be able to get the profile details using the profile scope 
right and that's all i have in the client details and that's being utilized by that uh, authorization server let's go ahead and execute it and let's see uh, how it works in the postman right uh, let me go ahead and clear the cookie and let's hit um, generate and before that let me show you the credentials i have here uh, if you look at here um, if you look at here this is the uh, redirect URI the callback URI if you look at here in, in here I have given this as the callback URL one of the callback URL here right? I can use any of them and uh, this is the authorization URL that is provided by Spring Security itself and these um, and the, the token URL as well so these two we are just making use of the Spring Security inbuilt um, authorization and the token generation URLs and, and uh, we also uh, customize the JWT token so it will it will send us in uh, encoded format in, in in a JWT format with uh, yeah, with the default encryption right and uh, see if you I think I think it's HS uh, 256 that's in, that's I think and here if you look at the client ID that matches here uh, in the database yep and the client secret this is the secret which oh, I only know that and this is the secret if you look at the database you will not be knowing that because it is encrypted already here and I will request for profile scopes to show you the consent page as well and this is the state uh, this state uh, uh, um, parameter will be used you know to identify the client application will be generating a state and the same state should be returned back to the client application to make sure that it is the same request that is uh, that it is sending. That's the uh, use of the state um, um, parameter here. And uh, yeah, I'm just authenticating in, uh, the client credentials inside the client body. And you can uh, so if you look at here the authorization client authentication methods, I have given um, client secret post, client secret JWT, and client secret basic. So I can make use of uh, any of this methods here. I'm just going with the client credentials body. And yep, that's it. That's pretty much everything. Let's click on click on uh, generate, and it's going to ask you for the username and password. Uh, I have already uh, um, registered two users. Um, I mean, like one is uh, Anbu Mani and one is Anbu. So let me go with this user right here. Uh, let's go and give Anbu Anbu. So that should uh, sign me in. So it is asking for the consent, right? So this is what the consent uh, that I was mentioning in the PPT. So it will ask you for the consent because uh, the application is trying to access uh, profile. Uh, it won't it won't access to your profile related information. So I just have to accept the consent and click on submit. And this uh, is going to generate the authentication token. If you look at here, as I'm, I've included um, identity, so it uh, it has given me the open ID. It has given me the op ID token. And if you look at here, the access token, uh, this is what the token will be used to get the protected access from resource server. And the refresh token will be used whenever the token has been, you know, is expired, right? So it expires in 300, um, I think it is seconds. So, so it's, that's how uh, the client authentication token works, right? So let me use this token and uh, let me also show the console how it worked, right? Let me go here. Um, so this one we closed and here is what the authorization happened. If you look at here, let me maximize it. Yeah, if you look at here, um, the authorization URL has been hit with the response type as code it is nothing but the authorization code it needs authorization code it has included the client id and state and the scope it wants and the redirect URI where it has to redirect right and this um, this further authenticates and then it goes to um, and then the authorization server gives you the login page to um, the client the resource owner to log in the user resource owner log in the page and then it um, it again uh, redirects you uh, to this page I mean like this 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 just redirect back to back to the uh, redirect URI which we have given and then uh, it generates the token right so it is authorized and then it generates the token right here and this token is what we have seen um, in the 
in the pop-up right so that's what we are going to make use of so i've already used this token so if you look at here this is what the token we got it got from the authorization server so if you look at here i'm running the application on a085 so this is the resource server which i'm running so if you look at here the resource server is running in 8085 and if you look at the controller i have a protected resource right here which is called test and uh, uh, hello world it's going to be returned so if i'm hitting this so I should get, yeah, right here, I'm getting a response has um, hello world, right? So that's pretty much uh, the authorization code flow. This is how it works, right? So if you don't have a proper token, it will not work. And whenever you want to refresh it, you can hide the authorization server with the refresh token. And the tokens will be stored in, can be stored inside uh, the database in order to validate the refresh token and then provide them an access token. Right, so that's how uh, authorization cloud flow works. So if you have any doubt, uh, please uh, put it in your put in the comment. Um, I'll uh, respond back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.